Last time, a single enemy was no match for our ships. Let's level the playing field a little. Before we do anything, however, we want to get rid of our single enemy. He'll cause us some trouble when we come to do something in the enemy class. Simply open up your project in the Rapid 2D editor, select the enemy, and click the minus button above the game objects list. Save your project, compile, and return to the solution in Visual Studio. First, we'll want to set the enemy's texture from within the enemy initialization section. You might remember this from the bullet creation. Now, whenever we create an enemy, it will handle its own texture. Heading to user main.h now, we introduce three new variables. We'll be covering what these do in a moment. In user main.cpp, we initialize max round as 6, which will act as the maximum modifier for the enemy spawn rate. Current round to 3, which will make more sense as we come to using it. Finally, spawned count is set to 0 to start with. This will keep a track of how many enemies have spawned in the current round. Moving down to the update function, we control the enemy spawn rate. We used modulus when we created the bullets, and we use it again here. However, this time, it's slightly different. Let's break down this formula once we understand how current round is being increased. For now, assume the following code will only execute every so often. The first thing we do here is find a random place along the y-axis for our enemy to spawn on. The range we achieve here is minus 10 to plus 10. The next line creates our new enemy. It is placed along a random y-axis and also along an x-axis of plus 20, or off the right side of the screen. Since we set up the enemy class last time to initialize itself, all that's left to do is add it to the layer. We increase spawned count and follow that with the test. If spawned count is larger than 15, we advance the current round. If the current round now exceeds the max round, we revert the current round back two rounds and finally reset the spawn count. So let's go back up to that first line. 239 is the base interval number for the spawn. On its own, it will execute every 239 frames. But we then subtract this by 39 multiplied by the current round. This means that the interval will get smaller as the game progresses, increasing difficulty. A brief rest in the spawn rate is given when the current round surpasses the maximum round, as it reverts back two rounds. One final tweak we want to make before this part is complete, bullet spawn rate. Open player.cpp and go down to on update. The numbers are different, but the current round modifier is working the same here as it did in user main. And that's it for this part, here's the enemy spawning system in action. Next time, we'll be making it truly treacherous for the player when we add score and lives.